trout season starting in two days uh, so before starting uh, fishing I got ready all my things what I need for trout season and probably it is a good time to share it with you I was thinking to buy an actual fishing rod for trout fishing but still two years did a good job and I decided just to do at least one more season with this one before I'm before I will buy a proper one but this one is really good it's Westin W3 street stick 2 to 7 grams and it is 6.1 foot I paired with Shimano Vanford 2500 real super light setup really pleasure to fish with what's new for this year is my fishing line and that is suffix nano braid nano filament braid 0.06 millimeters and 3.3 uh, kilograms in japanese marking that would be pe 0.2 i tried for perch I had some pike on this line, super strong even though it's, it is super super thin line but more tests will be done when trout season will start. Braided line to fluorocarbon with Alberta knot. Then uh, this year as well I will try slightly thinner fluorocarbon than last year. Last year I was using this Gunke 0.22 millimeters fluorocarbon and this year uh, 0.2 millimeters I will try. We will see how how good it's gonna hold. Snaps. That's what I used last year. It's 3.5 millimeter Spro freestyle fluorocarbon snaps. Using these after changing many lures, they lose the shape. And uh, these are from same company, same size, just uh, stainless steel. Hopefully they will hold the shape better. Everybody likes to measure how big the trout is, especially the biggest one. You can have this finger with you, measuring tape, but I would advise just put markings uh, on your fishing rod in that case you can just put close to the fish check it in like a couple seconds and you are good to release the fish much much quicker and I think it's safer for a fish good landing net always is a plus check with soft rubber and big eyes in that case uh, trout not gonna rub it off its uh, slime at the same time the lure is not gonna get tangled as much well it still can happen but most likely not gonna polarized glasses don't go without them especially when you do wading so yeah you will need waders wading shoes and polarized glasses these ones are from leech they are okay, not, not something super good, but it does a job, it's enough for me. Much safer than, because these are polarized sunglasses, it breaks the sun reflection, so you can see in the water much better, you can see the fish better, you see where you're walking. Safety first, two pair of pliers, one uh, super sharp and super small and just for so they would cut the braid line properly and the never ones are for unhooking ba mainly well yeah they do cutting but I use them for unhooking this is savage gear so when you attach to the raiders it's always here and you can unhook the fish very quick haven't tried yet, but I seen on one video, one guy was using this is um, it's like a foam, hard foam thing 
for sharpening hooks hooks all of them are the same from Gamakatsu my main ones probably would be size 6 8 I do have size 2 and size 4 it all depends on the lure that's the that's how they look as well if you want um, barbless that's a barbless option when you're placing sing, replacing uh, treble into single hooks I like them to be as big as possible but we cannot touch it chever otherwise they will tangle up and fish will not be able to to hook on uh, backpack I used this one for two seasons it did really good job it's super super light waterproof um, now it starts a little bit leaking of course after dropping on uh, stones rocks and just got scratched but for the price very good backpack super light that is probably biggest plus when you do trout fishing to be light and mobile and the last thing lures Whew. million million of different lures can be bought in these days but uh, I will go through few of them probably the ones what caught for me the most last year cheap ones salmon minnow five centimeters that's my best lure from cheap ones this color caught a lot a lot of trout very good definitely worth I have a couple colors I think somewhere else I would find more but yeah there is as well a Rapala countdown they are very good lures but it's broken so I don't have that's it from cheap ones everything else is expensive I have a few lures it's they are handmade from EB lure very very good lures but it's hard to get them so I, I will not talk too much about them Jack Ultimate Tricorol GT many different colors the main difference between them two is the lip this one is MDF model and it goes slightly deeper it has more aggressive movement and this one is SRF as you can see shorter lip it doesn't di dive as deep as MDF model and this, this one is less aggressive same ones just this one's 52 millimeters I think previous was like 56 or something like that as well MDF SRF models sometimes trout like bigger ones and now my favorite lures from last year this one little one caught the most fish this is Jackal uh, Timon Tricorol Ryushin 53 heavy single sinking lure this one need because it's very f slim profile need to retrieve fast and do some twitches probably it's not good in the beginning of the season while trout is slow but uh, further down in the season when trout becomes really active they are very very good and for this year still need to change uh, treble hooks but I got this color and this color very interesting what I like they all middle one have a, a swivel so when you get a hook into fish it just twists around freely super super option second best lure from last year is this one Jackson Trout Tune 55 sinking this color brought me a lot didn't bought any new colors don't know why yeah very very good lure you can work very slowly very fast it works in basically every condition and every speed you can do twitching just just pulling awesome 
This one as well with a swivel is Jackal Timon Tricorol Mai. I caught a few nice fish. It dives deep quick, but it's nice lure. Didn't fish too much, but I caught some nice, nice trout. Jackson Kamachi. This one is 45 millimeter. Didn't fish a lot on this. It's kind of strange lure. A bit too small for my likings. Pontoon 21 Crackjack. 48 millimeter SPMR. One side gold and one silver. Some days when I cannot catch anything, this one brings me a fish. But I do use sometime, sometime it works, sometime not. Definitely worth to have in a tackle box. I got few new lures to try for this year. They still with treble hooks, need to change them, but that's my first. Feels very heavy, very thin profile. Hopefully it will work good. It looks nice. Savage Gear 3D Twitch Bait. 45 millimeters and it is uh, 4 gram. We will give it a try. Maybe, maybe we'll do a good job. Another two lures for my family. As well, kind of a thin profile. Interesting lip. Sure, should be nice. Haven't tried yet. The name for these ones is ITO Craft Amishi 50S2 First. Uh, it's well, 50 millimeters. Don't even know how heavy it is. Will be very interesting to try. And I got two more. Another brand that's Duo. Is Spearhead Ryuki 45. As well, sinking lure 45 millimeters, and they they are four gram lures. Just need to change into single hooks, and it will be good to go. It has rattle, will, will, will attract or opposite, only time will show. And his brother. Slightly, slightly bigger. It's from same company, Duo Sparehead Ryuki 50S D3 Limited. Very interesting color. Can't wait to try. And this coming straight away with single hooks, but we are, we have some weight. Not sure about that. I would prefer that they would have just a normal single hooks. So this one is 50 millimeters, 4.5 grams. Yeah, as well, slim profile, sinking lure. When I started trout fishing, all my lures were floating. It's kind of easier, but with a time and experience, I start liking sinking once more. It just Better presentation, more interesting, but with a time, I think for most of the trout anglers, the same. Of course, I have some more lures and more lures. It's never enough. I think that's for everybody. Oh yeah, gunky salt and pepper. Gamera, I think. S some days, nothing else catching, just this one. I showed you my setup. Hopefully for some of you it will be useful. Uh, maybe lures, maybe rod, line. All what I show today will be in description. So you can go through and check all the all lures I showed, all equipment gear, hooks. If you have any questions, comment down below. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. And I will see you on a bank catching trout.